What's going on, gang? Bolt Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at the four transforming figures from Netflix's show Poli. Now, Poli, or otherwise known as Robocar Poli in Korea, is a Sono Kong TV show. Now, you might notice that Netflix has gotten a hold of a couple of Korean shows based on Sono Kong toy lines, specifically Poli, the one with the cats, and the little school bus Tayo. The reason I've picked these figures up is one, my son has started watching Poli, and two, these figures transform, and I'm all about transforming toys. The first figure up is Poli, the titular character. He is a little tiny police car with a big face. I actually like this figure quite a bit. To give you guys a sense of scale, here is the, well, Optimus Primer, I should say Orion Pax mold from the Optimus Prime tribute line, but it's not a small figure by any stretch. Poli's transformation is pretty much the same for the three land-based vehicles. First, we'll come to the back and pull the tires away from the figure. Flip up what will be the feet. Pop the arms out from the sides and extend the arms and reach underneath and flip out the fists. And flipping out the fists is actually the hardest part of the transformation because unless you have nails, or I should say if you don't have any nails, it's not very easy. Flip the legs down. Spin them 180 degrees, and then push the rear of the vehicle mode in, and that's it. That's Polly's transformation. It looks a little bit more dynamic on the actual show, but what can I say? This is a tiny little figure. It's okay. Yeah, there is a lot of empty space there in the chest, but otherwise it's fine. I have really no complaints. It's decently poseable. It's not meant to hold any weapons of any sort. It's got a little bit of posability in the elbows, posability in the shoulders, posability up and down. Legs can move back and forth, a little bit of in and out, but it's not going to be the super dynamic poser. It's just a little toy police car from a children's television show. So I'm not expecting the world here. In terms of size, he is a little bit bigger than a standard Transformers Legends class figure. Overall, I think Polly is a cute little you know, robot police car. He's definitely no Robocopper Ed 209, but hey, he'll do. Next up is Amber the Ambulance, and she's a cute little ambulance. The cat, or I should say bow tie parts here are her sirens and lights. It works. I think the overall design works well. Amber's transformation is very similar to Polly's. We're going to first grab the legs, extend them, and then flip them down and turn them 180 degrees. And then we could flip down the toes like that. Then we kind of reach into the inside and push the arms out. They are just above the tires there. And then flip the hands out and extend the arms. Then grab the back here, flip it down like that, and slide it up. And then we could grab this section here and extend it up. Now in the show, her backpack kind of flips around a little bit. Not so much here. Now, Amber is, well, she looks exactly like she does in the show, but she's a lot less posable here. Yes, her arms move forward and back. Same, pretty much pretty much the same posability as Polly. Legs in and out, forward and back. And there is knee articulation here, but doesn't need it. It doesn't really need it at all. She does have a little bit of posability here in the wheels, but that's more of just to get things out of the way. She's definitely more brickish and least show accurate, I feel. I feel that the show version of her looks a lot better. Now here she is next to Poli. As you can see, they are roughly the same size. They work well together, I think, color-wise. Next up is Roy the fire truck. He's got a giant fire helmet on him. His water or ladder can move side to side and on the show he is i believe the only one who has optional equipment because when he is deployed he either gets a ladder or a fire hose or a couple of other different things okay. roy's transformation is slightly different from Poyo, 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 jeez poly but it is very similar front wheels fold out to become the fists then the wheels rotate or I should say the wheel wells rotate a little bit, then reach behind the back, fold the legs down, turn them around. You don't have to do anything to the feet. 
and then fold the thing down onto his back, and that's it. Just make sure his shoulders are all the way out. And as the little fire truck dude, he looks pretty good. I love the styling of this guy. He's got the fire helmet. He, he's red. He's yellow. Looks determined. Has big fireman on the front. I like him. I think he looks really cool. His transformation is just slightly different enough from the other two to make it interesting. And I think he's got more posability in the elbows than the other two. Overall, a solid little figure. Last up is my favorite of the set, and that is Heli the Helicopter. He is such a cute little helicopter. It looks like a flying baseball cap. I mean, seriously, it really looks like a flying baseball cap. I love it. Now, Heli's transformation is similar to the others. First, we're going to reach under here and flip, or I should say, pull out the legs, then come to the sides and flip up these blue sections, and then that will allow us to grab the fists and pull them out like that. And sometimes they do get stuck a little bit, but a little bit of force doesn't really hurt it. And finally, push in the tail fin, or tail fin, yeah, tail rotor. And that's it. That is his transformation. Now, he actually does have some articulation in the hips, and you do have to be careful because they are a little loose, especially on my figure. But he's also incredibly top-heavy, where the others really aren't. Plus, his hip articulation or transformation is... Really, really loose for some reason. Propeller spins with no problem. This is by far my favorite. I think he looks the best, or he's my favorite looking of them. I always like flyers rather than things that go on the ground. I just do. It's a really neat little figure, though. I do caution parents. The arms are a little bit difficult to transform, especially for really young kids. I really like this set of figures, and so does my son. My three-year-old son loves these guys because they are just the perfect size for him. And they are a little bit complex for a three-year-old, but a four- or five-year-old will have no problem with them whatsoever. I like them a lot. I think they're a lot of fun. They're not the most articulated things in the world. But, hey, who cares? The show is for three- and four-year-olds. Who am I kidding? The show is for toddlers. And that's between two and four. It's a fun little show. The toys we have here are perfectly fine. I picked them up over on Amazon.com. You guys can too. I don't really have a link for you because the seller I bought them for doesn't have any more in stock, but just Google around and you'll find them. So gang, I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video review of Poli the Robo Police Car figures from Sonokong. As always, I am Bolt Matrix. I ask you to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.